hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are new here get to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications because guess what it's for free anywho so you guys like last year was was cruise it was it was a funny ride and i went through it and now i'm here do you know you know i didn't even realize that we're into new year like I realized, though, don't get me wrong, I realized, but it was just so sudden. Like, yeah, if it just happened, like, out of nowhere, I didn't even understand how Christmas came, how, how end of year came, how New Year now arrived. Like, I was in a days. I wasn't here. Well, there's nothing that we can do to, you know, change reality. I just had to accept it. But it caused me to actually look back to last year and realize that, okay, what were the things I did right? What were the things I did wrong? And what are the things that I can improve on? And that's basically what this video is going to be about. So, I'm going to be talking about the expectations I have for 2024 and the things I'm going to correct from last year. So, last year, I started my YouTube channel from, I think, in February. Like, I started posting on, you know, like, in February. I think I had the YouTube channel up since November 2022. So I started posting in February. I started with the um, get to know me or basically like answering questions about me, Q&A kind of thing. And I went to the new one this year because a lot of things have changed. Ah, but yeah, people won't believe it. Even me, I don't believe it. But people will not believe it even more. <laughs> but... I was really very very happy when I started the YouTube channel. Like, it actually just brought out like a different enthusiastic social part of my life and I was really really happy. It really made me like appreciate myself. I was always like guy you are really really doing this thing and it's really making sense. Excuse me, I need to rub lip balm. Like my lips are so so chapped. that's better because honestly if you're in this abucha you understand that it's a matan <laughs> if you are not strong don't come here the amatan is a matan even the, even the trees are looking dusty then who are you who are you not to look dusty anyway <laughs> back to what we're talking about so today like, one of the things i want to correct from last year is that i spent a lot of time focusing on other people than myself i was trying to be in different aspects actually my personal aspect in content wise and even in progress aspect for the personal aspect i spent i spent a lot of time like you know investing in other people's lives and you know trying to be there for other people so much and it's not a bad thing but this year i want to be more self i won't say selfish but just like focus on myself because even the bible says that you know you have to take out the is it the <laughs> what it calls i'll say let me just say the the speck in your own eyes before you start reaching out to that pool's eyes to get and clear their own and i can't keep pouring out of myself into other people and expect that you know they would pour back into me when I know I'm not a kind of person that, you know, I'm not a kind of person that likes that kind of relationship, basically. So I'm just going to focus more on me. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, honestly. Putting, putting yourself first and then knowing when to put other people first too, it's, it's a wise thing. It's not really a bad thing. It's a wise thing. So that's one of the things I'm going to improve on in this year. Then last year for the content-wise, I think I was focusing so much on other people's content, like not even people my my level or like you know people that have like 150 subscribers along with me. I didn't even really look at them. I didn't really think about that. So like I always wanted to, you know, I always aimed higher. I always wanted to like you know be above where I am right now. But I said I compare myself to people like I won't say I, I didn't compare myself to this particular person, but like I said I compare myself to people that has tried long long time ago had like production team like i was really trying to compare myself with goods i was like yeah. 
I'm I'm saucy like that. I really have that kind of like you know talent. So why do you get into? I'm gonna get into. <laughs> I was getting salty, but I had to realize that everybody has their time. Everybody has their season. Everybody has like a period in time where they are grinding and they are working to get to where they will be. And like Bishop Oyedepo posted when I was in school, he said it that. If you do not gain the attitude you need when you need when you are successful now, when you get there, you will fumble it. I'm just paraphrasing. He said in a different way, but basically, people that are grinding now, gaining the attitude, then learning from like learning how to, you know, build themselves and everything like that. When they actually build themselves and they get there, they won't take it for granted. It would be so easy for them to like, you know, maintain that level of humility and calmness and everything. And that's basically, I, I don't want to rush to get anywhere. I want to take my time. And I know I've got it beside me, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually afraid. Anyhow, so that was what I wanted to change from last year to that spirit of, you know, confused competition. Like, I'm not fighting with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, do you know me? mom you don't know me so why am i looking for you why am i fighting with you all right why do i fight with you mm? but i can actually just learn from it so what i've started doing is like you know just going to their pages learning from them like seeing their routines you know actually learning and still putting stuff out there not like i'm just putting a stop on my life because i want to learn something that's scary basically that's what i'm doing then the third aspect in the aspect of like, you know, academics and everything, I took a break from school and not to beat my own, <laughs> but I'm one of those students that <laughs> me and school are friends. Well, I wouldn't like to, you know, toot my own horn, but I was a teacher's pet. <laughs> That's nothing to be proud about. But then I was like that. And coming out of school, I have never in my life taken a break out of school. From primary school to secondary school to university, I had never taken more than two months out of school. From primary school to secondary school, I only took like two months transition. Then from secondary school to uni, I only took like a month transition. Less than a month, I took like that break and then we went straight into uni so i i didn't realize it then but i was always just in school i didn't have like you know life out of school so i wanted to push myself into into somewhere i wasn't comfortable with while i was waiting to do my masters and everything like that and i tested my own limits i learned a lot i won't even lie last year i learned a lot like in abuja we have this thing called along that you can you jump from like one car to another car into another car i think lagos they call it jumping bus but in abuja we call it along hmm. this guy sitting in front of you over here i'm an along president if you ask me how to get to this place i'll open google map for you i say okay stop here stop here stop there stop there stop there and you're there. <laughs> I could even like, you know, write a book about it. That's how I am. I learned a lot actually last year when it came to that. So I just told myself this year that this year I will just focus on my own life. And I'll focus on my own journey. Because I started getting like, I started feeling bad for myself that all my lecturers think like, ah, I left school. Like, you know, that, you know, this. well, I was happy. I was happy. Why didn't I why didn't I like you know acknowledge the fact that I was happy taking that break? But I started feeling bad because everybody was disappointed in me. That's messed up. That's so confusingly messed up. But I'm no longer like that anymore. I've started to see that, you know, it's good to take a break sometimes. It's good to step down and be like, okay, you're actually making sense. Like ah, this step you're taking is the right step. Sometimes taking a break actually helps you to see the picture clearer. And right now, my picture is as clear as it can be. I know what I want to do. 
I know the steps I want to take. And I am so much closer to my family members now that I don't think I would have had it if I was just jumping from school to school to school to school to school. It would have been good for me academic-wise, but what would my life be? I have gained so many things and lost so many things that I needed to lose. And I'm really, really happy. Well, those are the major things that I really needed to learn from last year. <clears throat> A lot of other things in terms of relationships, um, life in general, and just like how you allow things to affect you. Them too, I have learned a lot of things from them. I don't really want to go too deep into it, but I have learned some things. And I'm a better person. This year, I aspire to be a better person. So, yeah, that's just it for me. I just felt like making this video because it was just something that, you know, I felt like I wanted to talk. And, yeah, that's just it. <laughs> so, what did you guys learn from last year? And this year, you just feel like, ah, I want to be a better person. So, what did you learn from last year? And how do you plan on changing it in this year? Well, that's my own take on it. So, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. You guys watch me this year and be liking the videos. You can hear me. <laughs> it's funny how I'm talking to you guys like a girl my children. But anywho, thank you guys for actually watching. And thanks for 150 subscribers. You guys, we are growing at a very rapid pace, if I might say, for the lack of uh, consistency that i have we are going at a very fast pace so thank you guys so much for that and i hope that you guys will enjoy more from me this year thank you for watching Annyeong. <laughs>